morning. This is going to be an awesome, awesome first time experience flight to Kilburn Hole, which is off in that direction. I'm also going to be trying out this new Insta360, which I'm really excited about. Ready? Just gonna head straight in that direction. Oh, I'm trying out the flying app, the Fly Sky High. Start. There we go. That's it. Okay. Oh, Anthony, pleasure to meet you. Oh, nice. Are you going flying with us? Very cool. Yeah, I'll see you in the air. That's cool. That's always exciting when you run into people who've seen your videos. Small community. Great people. Ooh, you see how strong I am? There we go. Okay. Did it with the Insta, baby. Check it out. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to keep my leg kind of pinned against this invisible selfie stick. What an awesome first opportunity to use this. There's Tom over there. Ah, I can make you look, watch. Whoosh. And Kilburn is out in that general vicinity. But I'm gonna just have to send it in that direction. Let me get out my flight recorder, the, the GPS. I'm using this new app. That's what I'm doing. And I'm excited to use it because I've never used an app while flying before. Oh, it's nice and smooth right here. Now that we've had our fun with the train, I'm gonna make my way out. It's super smooth right here down low. Up high, I was getting a little bumpy. What we're working with is El Paso's back this way, which is to, according to this, my east. El Paso's to my east, and then Kilburn Hole is due northwest, which is bing, this way. So I'm headed in the right direction. And Kilburn Hole is super cool. I, the only other time I've been out here was when I drove my truck. And this is pre-paramotor days. And I remember when I saw this volcanic explosive crater for the first time, I was so excited because I was like, when I do get into paramotoring, I'm definitely coming here. It'll be the first place I go to. I'm gonna go ahead and go trims out since we've got a little ways to go. But. I'm really excited because this is that moment where I'm actually getting to do this for the first time. And uh, I'm in New, Kilburn Hole is in New Mexico. I live in Texas, El Paso, Texas, but Texas is not that far away. So it's really just right down the road. Anywho, really excited. And I'm gonna keep my heading. And 
save some battery life as well. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Hey again. I'm looking at my app. It's got me within a 1.5 mile diameter. I can't zoom out more. And I wish I could. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> and there's Tom sending me, spamming me with photos, saying fly b Oh, there's a road. It's good to know if I was to have a motor out. So since I can't see where this gaping hole in the earth is, by just scanning the horizon, I've got Tom up there. I'm gonna kind of like just pick the heading that he's going and, and see if that helps me get to this uh, extinct volcano. I kind of gotta take a sh I think I'm gonna have to land at this volcano. Maybe the poop flash is just because I'm like a little bit nervous and don't know where the hell this thing is. Is that it? Oh, there it is. That's it. Okay, that's a ways away. I really need to sh Oh man, I really don't want to land out in the desert. What if I can't get back off? Oh, deep breaths. That's what they say. I'm seeing some openings here, but God, that's gonna be embarrassing. Oh man. Let's check the fuel situation. I'm at eight, which means I've burned a liter. Now that I know where Kilburn Hole is, it looks like that's it. All right, I'll get back on as soon as I link back up with Tom. Hello again. We appear to be approaching. This is so cool and I still need to poop. Okay, I'm about to pull this Insta360 out again. I'm really excited about that. I want to kind of like fly around the rim without pooping my pants and then land and poop outside of my pants. That sounds like a pretty damn good plan to me. I don't have toilet paper though. Uh, improv is going to take care of that. Except it's not so helpful when you're in the desert and a lot of the plants are all spiky and shit. Because then that just does a number to your butt. We've got several different people flying with us today. And if I'm correct, I think that there's two more people who should be ahead of us, but I haven't seen them the entire way here so far. So yeah. I'm doing pretty good on fuel too. So this is of course, once again, the Parajet Maverick with the Atom 80 and the Atom 80 has got that reputation for like consuming very little fuel. It's super efficient. It's a 10 liter tank. I'm at 4,000 feet right now. Oh, actually, let's let's check. Oh, shit. I'm actually at like 5,000 feet and I just hit some lift. I felt me go up, just jump like 20 feet. I see Clint down there. Somebody's cruising. It's either Clint or Olvec. It's some really cool name. I, I'm going to that's his name, right there. And Clint's down there cruising around the rim, doing a rim job on this uh, Kilburn Hole. Kilburn Hole is approximately 27,000 to 100,000 years old when this crater originally formed. This was an explosive crater. So in a moment, it just, boom, uh, opened up super wide. Now, there's also another one. I forget. Let me send up one of those little stick thingies with the name of what that crater is called. But they're two miles apart. Two miles apart, two gaping holes. Now when this crater or volcano originally exploded, it was very little debris. For its extreme size with a six mile circumference, it's also almost two miles across. It didn't kick off much debris. 
What it did is when it exploded is it just released a ton of gas up into the air. This is called a mar, by the way. The term is mar, mar, mar. Mar, this is a mar. When the volcano erupts down and into the earth without really forming that cone-shaped volcano that people associate with volcanoes more often. All right, so here it is. We have made it. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Okay, so at this point, I'm at 5,225 feet, which according to Woody's gamer tag, is a safe altitude to conduct a little bit of acro, which is all I plan to do, a little bit. And then, ugh, I'm gonna drop on down and inspect this hole. You're about to get inspected. All right, out comes the Insta360. How much would that suck for you to drop your Insta360 the day you get it? I don't want to lose this cover either because if this cover blows back, sure enough, it's going to blow back into my propeller and that's just going to suck royally. Oh God, don't drop. This is awkward. And I'm going to pull these brakes in. Whoa, that's lifty. Wow, look at that hole over there. Okay, oh f I just realized how high I am. New Insta, Schminsta, Schminsta. The Schminsta Schmischmixti. I don't know, wingovers might be a little bit finicky because I, oh, yeah. I'm just gonna keep them small because, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm in a volcano. Yes. How epic is that? Let's do a flyby past Clint. Let's wave to Clint. Hi, Clint. Hi, Clint. He's like, what the f is wrong with that guy? Oh, he's got the selfie stick, too. Yes. This is exciting. All right, the chase is on. <laughs> oh, man, this is so cool. I'm in the mouth of a volcano, and it's cold down here. What the hell? and a half. All right, Clint's on the chase. Oh, f bogey on my six. What do we do? There's a dogfight happening right now inside the mouth of a volcano. Oh no, bogey. Do, 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 do. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Locked on target. Who's that? Let's see, red. I like, identify who people are by their wings. So I'm not sure who that is. Oh yeah, Tom just landed out. Let's bring it on home for the home team, baby. Ah. 360 problems. Whoa. 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 I'm gonna get this figured out, I promise. Son of a All right, I gotta figure out something better than this I want to film this landing. There we go, that feels better.
Oh, f I hit my camera, fucking bitch. Oh, God, don't scratch the lens. Oh. Well, I landed inside of a volcano, smashed my camera into the ground, my brand new one. The lens looks good. Ow. This is cool. We landed inside the butthole of a volcano. That's sweet. How cold it is in here? Huh? I know. That's. Yeah. I commented on that. I was like, it just got cold. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. It's like all the air just, the cold air just slides in here, so there's going to be no wind. It's right. A nil wind takeoff. You can take off any way you want. All right. I'm going to put this, stow this. I'm going to stow this now. Yeah, yeah, making good time. Uh, what time is it? 7.05. Oh, nice. That's not bad. We made it here real quick. This is Tom, everybody. Tom visits... visits bleh, bleh. Take two. This is Tom, everybody. Tom is from the Paramotor Podcast as well. Though it's been a little bit since he's joined us on the show. He is El Paso's meteorologist. I'm actually going to poop inside this crater. For real? Yeah. Get with it. Yeah, I know. You're not taking off right now, are you? I want to fly around. I'll hang around. Okay. All right, so here's my little walk around. I knew that if I came here, I really wanted to come into the, the mouth of the volcano. I just wanted to land here. That feeling of pooping kind of went away. So I don't need to take a shit. I think I'm just gonna cruise around the rim. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. Check out this. Woo! What a cool little flying. Don't wanna hang out too long because I wanna get out of here before like any big thermals take, you know, rah, go off. But here, let me snag Tom's takeoff. Okay, now for the task of getting out of the volcano. Can it be done? I sure hope so. There's really no wind, maybe even a slight tailwind with this takeoff. I'm really gonna need to power this wing up full maximum effort. close one. I'm not gonna lie. It is tricky taking off with a camera in your hand sometimes. All right, parking those brakes and getting back into my seat. Hot damn. And we're off. Man, I sure hope my, my camera is good. All right, we're into the turn. Little rotor right here. Coming off of the volcano, which is to be expected due to how furious it was at one point. These rocks look super unforgiving. So I'm just gonna cruise around this rim. Uh, Uno Tiempo and then start my climb out. Damn, look at the, the like, lava rock here. It's massive. I can see the pores in the rock, which is the gas that forms when it's all melting in that pro process. As mentioned in the last video, I took geography and I really enjoyed it. Oh, there's a bird. Check out that birdie. Come fly with me, come fly, let's fly away. No one behind me. I don't really want to go through my own wake, but I think I'm setting myself up for that. Man, what a beautiful volcano!
Fly me to the moon Let me sing among the stars Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, darling, kiss me. In other words, da -da -da. all right, so this was really cool. I think in just a short amount of time, we're gonna set our compass back to the LZ, which is about 20 miles away, but we're facing a headwind. So fingers crossed that we make it back. <laughs> <laughs> is anybody heading back? No. Damn, they wanna take it all the way to empty. There it is. Bada bing, bada boom, yeah. Yes, start. All right, I'll jump back on as soon as we're closer to the LZ. <coughs> I'll get back on while we start getting closer to the LZ. Was that better? Okay. All right, we are almost back to Santa Teresa Airport. And on this final stretch, as we get closer, the sun's rising higher and it's getting more and more bumpy. Uh, I wasn't recording just a second ago, but my wing was going all over the place. And I was kind of playing with my altitude to see where I might find the most smoothness. But I think I, I'm probably best down low. Uh, BRB. little windsock we've got right there. Whoa, I'm sideways. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was cool. That's the longest flight I've, or furthest distance I've ever gone. Yeah, I've never done any like cross-country stuff. <laughs> 